What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Dude Sweet, a.k.a. Calm Little Buddy. My special request, I'm going to be talking about the Divide by spells today. There are quite a few people that have said that they have difficulty understanding the Divide by spells and would like a very simple video explaining the Divide by spells. Well, it's a rather tall order because the Divide by spells are not like any other spells. So basically... We're going to do this in two parts. I'm going to do a very quick introduction, and then we are going to have a practical demonstration using uh, using Spell Labs. Let me explain to you very quickly about the Divide by Spell, so that if you don't feel like going through the whole presentation, here is the gist of it. Essentially, divide by the Divide by Spells are late game spells. They divide spells. The biggest thing that you have to understand is that adding multiples of them together does not necessarily make more of what you want. Sometimes it makes, because it's dividing by, it'll make less of what you want. There's also some special rules that go along with them, such as iteration, which is going to cause all sorts of problems by stacking divide by spells. So if you find a divide by spell and want to know how to use it early game, it's kind of difficult. The biggest difficulty that you run into with the divide by spells is the huge uh, minus to your damage. So even if you were to put on, say, a damage modifier, you are still not going to do the tremendous amounts of damage that you want after spending, you know, 70 or 100 mana on a divide by. So you have to find ways to really pump up the damage modifiers that can significantly outpace the negative damage that your divide by spells are going to place on each spell that you cast. So that is essentially the gist, is if you're going to work a divide by spell into a wand, you're going to have to make sure that you have a high-end damage modifier that's going to be put right after the Divide by Spell. That's it. The other thing that you can do, and this is what I highly recommend, is just go and look at builds and build directly off of what people recommend. Don't try to build with these yourself unless you've spent a lot of time practicing. Even the demonstration that I'm going to give is not going to go into very many practical applications of it. It's going to go into just basically the simple rules of it, I'm not going to go over everything because you don't need to know everything. And then it will give a couple of examples, and there'll be more examples in the description uh, down below. So let's get right to it. Let's hop into Spell Labs and take a look and see what we're talking about. Okay, back we are. The Divide by Spells, now a sort of a confession slash admission. This is going to feel like a bit of a, um, a cop-out. I'm promising to make the Divide by Spells a little bit easier to understand for those people who are having difficulty understanding them, who've read the guide, who've read the, um, the expert guide, and are still having difficulties with it, and are just going, just please explain them to me simply so I can take these spells and just use them if I find them. Well... Easier said than done. Let me explain very basically how these spells work. First of all, just so that you know, again, this is not a comprehensive guide to how to make wands using the Divide by Spells. This is telling you how they work and what you can do in a practical sense to make them work for you if you so desire. Or how you can just feel relieved afterwards knowing they're not for me. I'm going to move on because I got a hundred other spells I can do the same things with in a much more efficient way. All right. So first of all, a note. The divide by spells are end game spells. We can use them in early to late game if we find them, but it's not just cut and dry. They're called divide by. They're not called multiply by. They're not called add by. They're divide by. So that means we're taking something and we're dividing it up into smaller pieces, basically. That means that when we use a divide by four on a spark bolt, yes, we get four spark bolts because we're dividing by four, but we get them with a lot less damage. In fact, if we take a spark bolt and divide by four, we do no damage because the damage modifier on this, the negative damage modifier on this is so low, I mean, so high, excuse me, that you won't even get your normal damage. See, there's your normal damage. In fact, all we're doing right here is adding uh, slowing this, slowing it down and just adding a terrible, terrible mana cost to it. Even if we say, well, let's just add a modifier to it. Okay. Well, yeah, we had a modifier to it. We're still not doing much. Why is that? Well, first things first, how does this work? What it does is it memorizes the first spell on the top of the pile. So in the, the, the next spell in the wand, it memorizes it 
it makes however many copies. In this case, it says divide by four. So it creates four copies of it, and then it casts those copies. The first copy of that, it's not allowing it to draw. Now, that doesn't make a difference with Sparkbolt because Sparkbolt doesn't draw. It just shoots. It's just a projectile. But a modifier like damage plus does draw. It draws the next spell that you see in the pile. So this says always draw the next available spell. If this spell has already been discarded, then it's gone and it would move on to the next one. But anyway, and we'll talk about discarding in a second. So adding this damage modifier is actually only going to do the divide by four. It's only going to cast it three. It'll cast it four times, but only three times will draw the spark bolt. So and I'm sure somebody will correct me on that. That was a <laughs> that was a critical hit. So that still only gives us seven. We we get about one without it. Seven with this combination. Seven for an addition. Seven damage for an additional seventy mana. No, that's not a good rate. That's a terrible rate for damage. So what we have to do is find other ways. Now, like I said, this memorizes it, casts it four times, then it will discard what's on the top of the pile. And this is going to be the thing that's on the top of the pile. It will discard it, and then the wand will continue continue on as normal now because this has drawn this spell already once this is discarded this the wand is empty and it resets now if we put a wand refresh on that look at that damage go up that's because it's refreshing the wand every time it gets there so it's pulling the refresh and starting the whole thing over again now somebody again in the comments is going to correct me on this but let's just go with the idea of it let's stick to the spirit of what we're looking at here so there we go. I mean, that's that's better, right? Yeah, but still, look at how much you're spending in mana. You're spending like close to 100 mana for 100 damage. That's not a good rate, guys. That is just not a good rate. So what are we trying to look at? What What is it that we could do in the early game? Well, we have to find modifiers that provide a tremendous amount of damage to offset the negative damage that this is going to that this is going to give us. So one of the most common things is spells to power. This we can find on a few runs on our main run, right? And this is something we can always find on, on a run. I always seem to find this on runs and I never find this or I find this and I never find this. But let's say you, you found them all. And yes, you can, def you can find a divide by spell on a main run. I've done it before many times. Not often, but I've done a lot of runs, embarrassingly enough. Okay, so what's this do? Whoa! Okay, so our spells to power now is grabbed f four times. One draws and the, the rest don't. I mean, sorry, one does not draw and the rest do. So you still are only getting, you know, three out of your four bank for your buck, technically speaking. But that's a lot of damage. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good rate for this. I would take this wand early on, right? I mean, that's pretty cool. What if we put a wand refresh on it? Does it do anything else? No, not really, right? See, actually one refresh kind of screws it up. Okay, what's another thing that we could do though? Oh, well, our logic says, right? Well, if one's good, two must be better. Huh. Oh, well that, that was, was that a crit maybe? Uh, all right, so, well, do we just maybe add another one? Why is it not, it's not, still not going up. Weird, right? Well, that's because divide by spells have something called iteration on them, which is going to essentially to explain it in, a, in layman's terms, it limits the number of one uh, divide bys you can stack and still get a decent effect. Now, because of the way that iteration works, there's a couple really weird things that you can do here. Like check this out. Now that's more, right? That's more than it was. What if we did it like this? Yeah, that's a crit. So order makes a difference. So if you do have multiple divide by spells and you think, well, I'm going to get away with sticking multiple divide bys on and make something great out of it. Play around with it a little bit because I mean, look at that. That's even lower if you add a two. And if you really want to read the, the in-depth guide of why this happens this way, you can. I'm going to link it below. But just realize that divide by does not is not a multiplier. It's a divide by. It's a genuine divide by. It really is dividing the power of the spell, but giving you additional spells. So you need to make each of those spells count for vastly more than they normally would. Now, what does this normally shoot for? 
400. So this adds 70, 70 mana costs to it. Now you're getting some bang for your buck. So what are some of the other ways that we can utilize this? Like I said, it's a late game spell. So you could do gold to power if you had infinite gold. You could do blood to power if you had uh, infinite life. And it would be pretty squirrely. It'd be pretty nasty. You can also see this wand I have down at the bottom. Now this is a lot of mana to spend. For not very much damage. We could, I don't know, maybe add acceleration on it might help instead. Where's my acceleration? I right, just try that instead. Acceleration and homing can get it up a little bit. But again, you're better off just doing chainsaw <laughs> and spark bolt at this point. I mean, that's a lot to pay. You could probably do the same thing and just do chainsaw and make this go faster and it would be a lot better. So these are late game spells. Unless you have a specific wand build in mind that you have seen. Now, another thing too is, you know, this wand refresh sometimes can make stuff work a little bit better. See how that went up to 800? Let's see if we can... Are we just missing here? Yeah, I think we're just missing. Anyway. Anyway. Um, so we, we need to understand that the divide by spells are not meant to be early game spells. They're meant to be for advanced theory crafting in wands. They're meant to be something that you take a lot of time and specifically design into a wand, taking into account all of the different parts of it. If you read the expert guide, there's a lot of stuff going on here. There's a lot to unpack because the first spell doesn't draw the first copy of a spell doesn't draw because you have iteration on top, because you also have a discard when you're, if you have a long chain of these, when this finishes, it's going to discard the first spell that's on the top of the deck and it's gone. And so now the rest of these, uh, if they still are going to try to pull, like, let's say this, this casts a copy of this, casts a copy of this, and then this runs out. Now you've discarded the spell and the rest of these don't fire off. Again, I'm, somebody's going to come in the comments and they're going to re-explain it in a way that's much more sensible than I am. But that's essentially how it works. So you need to design around these. So you've got basically three options as I see it. Number one, you find a divide by spell, you find a decent damage modifier to throw on it, and you live with the high mana cost. Not great, right? Or you play around until you find a way that it works. Not great. Route number two. Watch some videos, go to some websites, and learn the very basic divide by spell wand builds that are out there that can give you huge damage. I equate this to being a Magic the Gathering player and getting a net deck versus trying to build your own deck. If you are very talented at building decks and you understand deck mechanics, build your own deck and it can be maybe as good as a net deck, right? But a net deck will still, because it's a community source type of thing that's been tested and tried with hundreds of other people, is usually going to still be tops, right? You got all teams out there that are testing this. The same thing with the community in Noita. Why build it yourself? You can just go out and grab it. Now, if you want to build yourself or you want to be, you know, the Marco Polo of wands, you want to be the discoverer, the person that comes up with these things, you can read the expert guide. You can open spell labs. You can play around. You can use some theory crafting that other people have done and try to build on it, add to it. Great. That's fine. If that's fun for you, that's your third way of getting into it is to delve into it, dig into the expert guide. I've read it over 35 times and I am not comfortable building my own stuff with it, except for the most basics of things and explaining the most basics of things. And there's other parts to it as well that I didn't explain. Reason being, I don't need to because you're here to find out how to use these things easily in your early to mid game or even in your late game and i'm here to tell you the easy way go look it up go look up a wand build okay i've given you the basics i've given you i've shown you practical demonstrations that these things are not just multipliers they're divide buys these are great when you're doing weird things like wand tele uh, world teleport wands you know 
that's what we're talking about. Or if you're summoning multiple area of effects or enemies, or you know, you've got these big damage modifiers or really super high damage spells, that's where you want to use these. But they don't work the same way that um that a quadruple spell <laughs> does. You know what I mean? It's not the same thing. It just isn't. So you're gonna have to remember this doesn't give you four spark bolts at spark bolt rate and spark bolt price with spark bolt damage. It gives you nothing, all right? So again, your options are live with the limited knowledge that you have and pay the price. You can look things up, you can get videos, uh, get you know, YouTube videos on it. I'm gonna put one down in the in the, the comments that I think, uh, the comments in the description that I think you'll, you'll really like. I'll also put my quadrillion, uh, 400 quadrillion damage wand that uses a divide by and regular spells you can get in the main world mostly on the main run. I'll put that down there as well, and I'll put a link to the expert's guide. So that is, I think, your best way to do it. And then, of course, your other way, which is if you really want to tinker and you want to play around, dig in. Get in, put your nose in the books, learn that expert guide, drop into Spell Labs, and just play around and see what you can come up with. All right, I appreciate you all hanging out with me very much. Sorry that there isn't an easier solution for you, but at least now you can sleep well knowing, hey, divide by spells, I'm just going to get a build or I'm just going to ignore them because we don't find them that often. Got to go out of your way to get them anyway. Or you're going to say, hey, I'm going to dig in and figure this out for myself. Appreciate you. Don't forget, like and subscribe if this has been in any way helpful. And we'll see you on Twitch. Out.